everyone I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a Mac mini and this one is a Mac mini 2014 model and the exact one model is an A1347 EMC2840 and in this video I'm gonna go over how you can open it up and how you can replace your power supply in here if yours is not turning on or is not even reacting you can replace the power supply in here to put a new one and in this video I'm gonna go really easy forward how to you can do this and the proper way all right i'm gonna go over the tools that i'll be using it's an i fix a screwdriver set get the pro set or the basic set i got the basic set for myself and they have all the bits all the security bits and everything that you need these are high quality screwdrivers and if you get a pro set they will include you with a tweezers you need a sharp tweezer and if you don't get the pro set Grab yourself a guitar pick and metallic guitar picks are really suitable to opening cases and covers. All right, with all this on hand, we're going to get it started. First thing first, we want to flip it upside down and we want to remove the bottom cover here. You can put your fingernails at the side and pull them up, but if you don't have fingernails, just grab the opening tool, put it on the side and do this. Put it on this side, snap it up, and at the back, just snap it up. Has a little clip that grab it from this big these screws. You can put it to one side. Next, we need to remove these three big screws and the three tiny screws. These are torque number five, I believe, or number four. Let me see. It should be number five, number six. Yeah, they're torque number six. So remove them. And remove the tiny screws right on the top and on the sides. If you haven't opened yours for a while, this metal plate is going to be a little bit hard to lift up. So I can lift up right now easy. If yours can't, just put the opening tool on the side. Work yourself just like this all around. Do not yank it from one side. So it breaks the seal. Just once you did this one, then you can simply lift it up and don't yank it, slide it to the left side slowly and you're going to see this Wi-Fi cable. We want to remove this screw that touches this Wi-Fi cable right here with the same screw. Just lift it up, put it to the side. Now with the tweezers, you want to lift up this antenna cable, just lift it upward. And that's it. There's your bottom shield with the Wi-Fi antenna. The power supply is right over here. I can see it right there. To get to that, we have to remove the whole motherboard. First, we're going to remove the fan. By removing this screw, the screw doesn't come up, you just have to lose it up. The screw at the back, the screw on the other side. Once you loosen up this screw, just pull it up. This screw has is really long. Let me go this way so you can see this screw. It's a long screw. Now bring it to one side. For the connector, you just want to put your tweezer underneath and lift it upward, the fan cable. There we have it. Now we need to detach these two screws right here and the metal plate and this is screw and tiny metal plate right here. So go ahead and remove this screw on this side and two screws on this one right here. This is for PCI Express M.2 and this one the metal plate is right there. Now to remove these uh, cables all you need to do is put your fingernail underneath and lift it up like that. It's really easy, just like that. Once you do that, now we need to remove this screw right over here, right over there. And after that, pretty much it's all ready. Now we're gonna grab you, put your finger right in between these two and another finger right in here. We're gonna push the forward and we're gonna see a gap, this one opening right in here, gently. Keep pushing and there we have. Once you see this tiny gap, you're gonna stop. Now we're gonna detach this power cable for the hard drive. Now we're gonna push a little more right there. And then what we wanna do, we wanna remove the connector for power supply connector. Just wanna pull these cables back. You wanna wiggle them around. Sometimes they get pain in the ass, but there we have it. Now, once we remove it, we can slide out the motherboard. 
and it will come up this way. You want to put that to one side. You want to remove this screw right in here. And this is the last screw that you're going to be removing. Now, there's a little secure uh, passage in here. We want to grab this one right here and we want to slide it backward, just like that. This is just a little sliding lock. After that, what you need to do is to grab this one, the connector, and twist it just like that, 90 degree or 45 degree. Once you twist it, move it around and it should be really loose. Once it's loose, just slide and move this stuff around and the power supply will come out pretty easy. All right, I'm gonna give you the model for this power supply. It's 614-0515. And this is 12 volt, 7 amp battery uh, power supply. And yeah, the part number is 614-0515. And I'll try to get the link for this one and I'll leave it in the video description. Yours might not come with this cable right here. So you have to detach this cable from here and connect it to the new power supply. So that's that, put that one in there. Let's say that you got the new power supply. You want to slide it right through here. But make sure the cables are not getting pinched or anything. The cables have to go right in there. There we go. And slide it all the way back. Twist this one. Make sure it goes all the way in. Now. You want to put this connector right into the tiny grooves and rotate it 90 degree. I'm trying to do this on the camera. Once it's in a 90 degree, you want to slide this lock right underneath. There we go. I don't know if you guys can focus on that. Right there. So now I put it in 90 degree and I slide the shim right underneath. Once we have that one in there, prepare the power connector, grab the motherboard, slide in the motherboard, nice and gentle. Before you go all the way in, you wanna connect the power connector and Push it the rest in and make sure the power connector is showing up very nicely aligned. There should be no excess force in here. Connect the power, the cables for the uh, hard drives. The power cable for the hard drive, just push down. Put the tiny clip right over this one to hold it in place. Put the screw for that. Put the bridge over here, the lock, and put the two screws for this lock. And and tighten it up. Oh, and before you put the motherboard, I forgot to put the screw for the power supply underneath. If you don't put it, nothing is gonna happen, but it's a good idea to put this one right under the power supply before putting sliding the motherboard in. I forgot, I'm gonna have to open it and put it back in. So yeah. So, and then the last, next thing is to put the screw for the motherboard. This one, it is important. And let's put the screw to one side and then grab this fan cable, put the slider right on top and squeeze it right there. Put this big screw right in here, inside the hole and then align the fan on the screw holes and then screw it down. There we go. Again, you don't have to go back, put the screw unless you keep it aside. The next time that you open to clean it up, you can just put this screw back in, but that's not too necessary. Now we're gonna grab this screw. We're gonna grab the plate right in here. We're gonna put the antenna cable right on top. We just push down on the jack. 
put the tiny screw right over to hold it in place. Now we need to put this antenna cable right under the case, not over. And then you want to twist it, make sure the screw holds match. And that's all. Now we need all last thing is to put the biggest screws right on the side right in here and the tiny screws uh, wherever you see a screw hole. Anyway, I hope you guys like this video and helped you guys out. If you have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in a video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching, and I hope to see you guys in my next videos. Just gonna finish up putting up these screws. And the last thing is to grab the power, align it, and snap it in.